at the top of the page here, I want everybody to write down I equals P time. Who said that? That's very good. I equals PRT. Can you tell me what P stands for? What is P? Think for yourself. P stands for, do you remember? What does P stand for? Yes, say it. Oh. It's right on your tongue. It is what? Percent. No. It is, um. What is it? Oh! Yay, principle. Very good. P is called the principle. Now, what exactly is, what exactly is principle? Principle is the money you start with, whether you put it in the bank or that's the amount of money you're borrowing. So, principle, put your hands down. Principle is just the amount of money you're starting with. D stands for principle. R is the no, rate. Yes, the interest rate. R is the interest rate. And T stands for transaction no, time. T stands for time. All right, now the only thing I want you to put down for time is time must be measured in years. Time is measured in years. So I is for interest, P is for principal, R is for rate, and T is for time. Again, it's very, very, very simple formula. Very simple. All right? So for example, question number one. Here we go. Listen now. All right, you're doing a good job so far. Alden, we're working. We're working. Let's go. Come on. Here. Let's turn your paper to the right side. All right? We. No. Here we go. So the first thing I want you to do is write down I equals. That's what we're looking for, the interest. All right. So in this case, what is our principal? Tell me. $720. So you're going to write I equals. Then you're going to write down 720 times. Now, what is our rate? Oh, That's right. Times 0. 0.08 times what? Times 5. Thank you. Times 5. All right. So the amount of interest then? $288. $288. Now, again, remember, your job right now is not to write down $288. Your job is to write that or type that into the calculator and make sure your calculator is getting $288. Come on, sit up. Let's go. Come on, where's your calculator? Where's your work? Do something. All right, get up. Walk over there and see if there's a calculator over there you can borrow. Hurry up. Let's go. Let me get the blood flowing. All right? Is 288 okay? All right, so that's how easy this is. All right, so now we're going to go around the room. Oscar, number three, you get to tell me how to do number three. Go. Times what? 0 0.0425. 0 0.0425. Now you got a hard one. Times what? 18. No. Uh, Times what? what 1.5? Yes, 1.5. So how do we get 1.5? Because, because we did 18, 18 divided by 12. Whenever they give you months, you just divide it by 12, and that tells you how many years. All right, again, what I said, listen to me. It has to be measured in years, not months. So you take the 18 and divide it by 12. I know 18 divided by 12 is 1.5. You don't have to tell me. All right, but that's how you would convert it. All right, so Oscar, multiply that out and tell me what that comes out to be. Do my else get seventy six dollars and fifty cents? All right, seventy six dollars and fifty cents. All right, Weber, you're up. Number five. What am I doing? Beautiful. You tell me what that is. Three thousand eight hundred twenty-five. Does anybody else agree with that? Yes. All right. 
All right, Reagan, tell me about number seven. Beautiful. Very good. Can you tell me what that is? $217.60. Did anybody else get that? All right. Ms. Hayes, you're up. Or let's just do this, 9 out of 12 to start with, even though she's right. 9 out of 12 is what? 0.75. Just to make sure you're seeing it. Everybody agree with that? All right, make sure you make yourself a note of that. All right, now tell me what that is, please. Anybody else get that? 6986? Good. All right. Ms. Nelson, you're up. What? I got 6986. Did you type in 0 0.0575? You good now? All right, great. All right, Ms. Nelson, tell me what's up. I can't hear you. Does everybody see what I'm doing? Just do 30 divided by 12. All right, you can do the 30 divided by 12 first and get 2.5 and then 4.15. All right, so now tell me what that is, please. All right, what do I have with that? That's really easy, right? All right, the hard thing is we've got to really explain why we can't do that. All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to change the directions. I, I don't really have time, and, and it's a little bit more complicated to find compound interest. All right, so we're not really going to talk about that. All right, so we're going to just change the directions here. So what I want to do is I want to come over here. I'm going to wipe this out. And you don't have to do this, obviously, but I'm just going to change the directions. All right, so in this case, what I want you to do is I want you to try to think of this as like if you put uh, $2,200 in the bank, how much is going to be in the bank after two years? All right? Everybody agree with that? So this is your deposit. All right? This is your deposit. Does everybody know what deposit means, right? All right? That's how much you put into the bank. All right? So we're going to deposit $2,200. We're just going to leave it there. Bless you. We're going to leave it there for two years. The question is, how much is going to be in the bank? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to find the interest. All right? So go ahead. Tell me how to find the interest for this one. Okay. So I equals 2200 times 0 0.05. Oh, no. Point. You're right. Point zero five times 2. Right. And so how much interest did you earn in that two years? I think it's, I think it's 220. I think you just typed in 0 0.005. Oh, I did that. I, I just did that. All right, double check it. Let's see. All right. So it's 220. Okay, so now the question is, the 220 represents what? Right, so that's what the bank's going to pay you. So now let's say at the end of those two years, how much money is in your account? 
What do you do? That's right. So how much money is in the bank? I know, we got you, we got you. Come on. Just take your time. Add them up for me. Okay, 2400 Thank you. 2000 So you would have $2,420 in the bank. Yes. So after two years, they owe you some money. All right? Max. What? 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 What don't you get? That's what the bank is going to pay you. Um, when you put the money in the bank, they're going to pay you. They're going to pay you 220. Over those two years, you made 220 dollars because that's what the bank decided to make. All right, go. How do I write it? How much money does the bank owe you? $519.66. Does anybody agree with that? So how much money do you have in the bank? Four. Say it again. Four, five. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. All right. Put your hands in your eyes. Um, can you do three minus three five? So which five. one are you doing? Oh. Um, can you do a thousand times three One thousand. This is okay. Let him. I, I want everybody. That's why I'm saying, make sure you're doing it yourself. One thousand times point one two two. Forty nine. Forty nine. So at the end of the four years, you'll have. Uh, why are you getting forty nine? Uh, is it? Am I wrong? Is it four hundred ninety? That's fine. I get. Yeah, forty nine. Is it 49 or 400? I got 490. Oh, no, it's 490. It's 490. Why? I, I, that's what I'm saying, guys. Stop. Listen, I, this is what I want you to do. I want you to make a mistake so we can correct it. So what are you typing in on your calculator? Okay. I did 1,000 times 0. 0.0002. Oh, my God. That's 0. That would be... It's it's twelve percent. How would I do twelve percent? So twelve point two five percent is point one two two five. That'd be twelve percent. Yeah, you're good now, right? Yes. All right. So that's what I'm saying. So at the end the bank owes you the bank owes you one thousand four hundred and ninety dollars. Good. Next. How much? Everybody agree? 
That's not fun. Right? Wait. I will wait on you guys. Okay. Here we go. Next, 21. Interrupting. One thousand three hundred what? Exactly. Five thousand four hundred twenty-seven. Is that what you said? Anybody else get that? Good. I told you it's easy. Very easy. All right, you just have to know that formula. All right, now hopefully you know the difference. All right, what exactly interest is. All right, William, why don't you help me with the last one, buddy? Good job, buddy. Oh, 3,084 and 97. Good. Is that right? Uh-oh. $3,084 and how many cents? Um, Is everybody okay with that? Yeah, 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. Okay, 0.9. That's okay. That's what I'm saying now. Don't worry about making a mistake. Just make sure you don't make it on the test. Right? Okay, so now how much is in the bank? Right? Is that right? $14,384.90. Do I agree with that? Anybody had any problems? What? I don't know how to convert to months. Divide by 12. Okay. Well, that's all you have to do to convert to years. What? The simple interest, which is not 1,300. Kind of. All right. Compound. compound don't, we're not doing compounded interest. All right. Compound interest will be later on. All right. It's not that it's that much difficult. I'll be sorry. All right, so here's where they want, guys. You got your calculator. Write the formula just like every day. Write the formula. The reason why you're writing the formula just like I'm doing is so you can practice. So when you take a test, you'll remember the formula. Write it down every single time. All right? Good job. That's all we got. Some of you are almost finished, it looks like. All right? Hopefully you're paying attention and checking your work.